It's 51 minutes past here. Good morning and welcome back to your Monday. I'm Melanie Morgan. And good morning. I'm John McCaslin. And you are in tune with America's Morning News. Hey, here's some amazing news this morning, John. As uh, its financial resources dwindle, that radical advocacy group that's been in the news, you remember Acorn? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it uh, apparently may be getting ready to file for bankruptcy. Uh, they, if they don't have several uh, big pending grants approved or get some emergency loans, according to a highly placed Acorn source over the weekend, that information bolsters uh, Congressman Daryl Issa's claim last week that Acorn is in turmoil. It's involved in a, an internal power struggle and on the verge of bankruptcy. Well, you know, that doesn't surprise me as much as what Matthew Vadum wrote, and that is that the activist group and organized crime syndicate, as he calls it, Acorn, has a constitutional right, in their opinion, to defraud the people of the United States. It's claims uh, in a federal lawsuit. Basically, I guess, Matthew, and good morning and welcome to America's Morning News. They're playing the victim here, aren't they? They're always playing the victim. That's what they're good at. Well, or, they... or I guess they're not so good at it anymore. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the verge of bankruptcy, they may not have... Uh, well, I think there's just been too much light shined on them ever since Hannah Giles and, and that other young man uh, put together that video, that Sting video. It really has... Tarnish them. There are more videos coming. Oh, really? Lovely. lovely. Matthew, by the way, senior editor at Capital Research Center, a Washington uh, columnist for BigGovernment.com as well. And Big Government, of course, is the website that broke those videos. Yeah, and the American Spectator, which I've been reading for years. But uh, what, what, what's, what's the latest with Acorn? Okay, they get busted. They get busted on video. Everybody gets to see it. They're embarrassed. Uh, Barack Obama's embarrassed. His campaign is embarrassed because they held them so high during the campaign. And now they're going back to court, apparently, according to you, and saying, look, we have a right to taxpayer money? Is that what they're saying? Well, that's what it amounts to. If you think it through logically, they're making a claim that that Congress cut them off and that it was unfair and that it constitutes a bill of attainder, mm. which is some this is ridiculous. concept from the, you know, from the Constitution, I guess because in England, in old England, they used to persecute people. Parliament used to pass laws punishing people without giving them a judicial trial. So the founders of this country were didn't like that, and mm. they, they abolished that kind of thing. And so Gerald Nadler... Congressman uh, of from New York, uh, who's been one of the strongest defenders of Acorn in Congress, argues that it's a bill of attainder. So, in essence, that's if if it's a bill of attainder, if it's if it's violating their rights not to give their money, not to give them money, then it, they must have a right to money. They, nobody isn't that, isn't that the logic of it? Yeah, it nobody like has it. the right the right to be given uh, sacks of cash from the United States government. It just doesn't work that way. Right. If that were the case, then any one of us can go up to the government, knock on the door, and say, "Give me some money." Well, that's right. They're saying it is punishment for Acorn to be denied public funds, and that that doesn't make sense. That means that Congress then has no right to uh, has no right to decide who you know which which organizations which programs to fund. Well, I'm wondering how much Congressman uh, is, uh, who did you say it was? Nadler Jerry, Jerry in Nadler. York. And he's a, he's a lawyer by profession. I'm wondering how much he's helping in this legally. Well, he is helping in this. He's been advising ACORN the whole time. In fact, it, it came out in an article in a New York City, uh, a Greenwich Village paper called The Villager, mm -hmm. that he was meeting with, that, that he... Um, gave a call to Arthur Schwartz, who represents Acorn in New York City, and told was saying, "What? why aren't you guys going to court with this bill of attainder thing? Yeah. And wow. apparently they took his advice. And this is somebody, he heads one of, uh, Congressman Nadler uh, heads one of the subcommittees of the House Judiciary Committee and would likely, if, if Acorn ever gets investigated by Congress, and I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for it, uh, his his subcommittee would likely be one of the first to start doing the investigating. And, uh, you know, he's in the tank for ACORN. He gives them money. He's funneled all sorts of money to them over the years, tens of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. uh, in campaign funds and personal contributions. They have endorsed him through their, politi their partisan arm, the Working Families Party of New York. 
He's totally in bed with us. Hey, Matthew, I mentioned these videos when I started yeah. out. Um, but I guess what they're arguing uh, in their legal proceedings thus far is that it's not the uh, the videos that busted them that, that they're taking this action. They're, they're saying that it's a right-wing conspiracy, kind of the old Hillary line that is basically against them. And that's why they're crying foul, politically speaking. That's right. They claim that it was an evil, vast right-wing conspiracy. Oh, that, if only it were true. That, that is persecuting them. Mm. That, that these videos were just the opening, that, that we just created an opening for that, for those uh, malevolent forces to come in and, and persecute them. Yeah, so it was a vast right-wing conspiracy turned into the Democrats on Capitol Hill saying you're not going to get any more money. So I don't know how that's too right-wing. It was the vast right-wing conspiracy that pushed all these corrupt ACOR employees in front of James O'Keefe's video camera. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I understand um, that you said there are more videos coming. Um, are these from the previous sting operation that just have been unreleased, or has there been a new operation? Uh, I can't really Oh, can't come really on. Say. Come they're, on. They're Matthew. coming out, and they're coming out very soon. I, will, I won't tell anybody. I promise. I'll just, you know, it's just right. a few of everybody my Everybody turn down your radio dolls. Right yeah. Now. Turn the volume Come down. Come on. Okay, now we're kidding, Matthew. Thank you very much, Matthew Keep your eyes peeled. There will be more soon. Uh, we will on this show. You can be sure of that. Okay. Uh, Matthew Vadum again, senior editor at Capital Research Center, columnist for BigGovernment.com and the American Spectator. Thank you, sir, for Thanks being on America's much. Morning Thanks, News. Matt. Stay tuned. Coming up next on America's Morning News, bowing aside, what are the national security implications of President Obama's trip to Asia? Also, searchers in North Carolina get a tip on the whereabouts of a missing five-year-old girl. Bah humbug, the recession is already hitting charities, counting on holiday generosity. And coming up next, a complete wrap-up of Week 10 in the National Football League. This is America's Morning News. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the nation's news breaks. We don't just cover the news. Cover the news. We break it. America's Morning News. The Washington Times Investigative Radio.